What is up everyone, Stonepost34 here bringing you Owning the Objective. This is a quick game, actually it is a pretty quick game of domination on grid and uh, running the AUG hardline and uh, AUG extended mags hardline and my kill streaks are spy plane, care pack and chopper gunner. But uh, that's not what this is about. Wanted to uh, tell you a little bit more about me growing up and we're going to talk about dirt clods and spiders. And you say, Stone, what's that have to do with anything? Well, I've got two stories uh, on each each topic, and one is kind of serious and one is not so serious. So we'll start with the serious one because I don't want to end on a uh, serious note. So when we were growing up uh, over by Boys Island, we uh, had just built our house, and my dad had hired a, a excavation company to bring in, oh, about eight to ten loads of dirt. So we had all this dirt in our backyard, and it was piled up, and we had to regrade the backyard. Well, we had uh, a bunch of friends over, and my parents were inside hanging out, and my brother and I were outside with Jason was his name, and my brother's Chris, and we decided to get in a dirt clod fight. So let me just recommend to you, this is not a good idea. So we get in a dirt clod fight and start throwing dirt clods behind the, the mounds of dirt and hitting each other in the legs and arms and actually hitting each other in the face and what happened is my brother um, was behind one pile and Jason was behind the other pile and um, they were kind of ducking back and forth and Jason popped his head up and my brother hit him square in the eye with a dirt clod and uh, needless to say he went to the emergency room and the um, really sad thing about that is he I think eventually lost sight in that eye so just a lesson to you guys don't throw dirt clods don't throw rocks don't throw anything other than a baseball or a softball but anyway so okay here's the funny story um, about a dirt clod we uh, had a house we had several houses being built around us so we had a house being built my brother and I were playing in the front yard and then the backyard and we had these two rather large cottonwood trees in the front yard that separated our house uh, from the neighbor's house. So my brother and I, we were playing, we always played army. We had GI Joes growing up, so everything involved a gun, uh, everything involved shooting and uh, grenades and stuff like that. So we still had the dirt in the backyard and um, dirt clods make really cool grenades. They're awesome. I mean, you throw them way up in the air, and then they land, and then they explode everywhere. So you can imagine how cool that was to have an unlimited supply of grenades in our backyard. So my brother and I decide, well, we're going to sneak around in the front yard. What do, we, what do we find in the front yard? We find that the neighbors, uh, uh, the guy building the house for our neighbors, uh, has a whole crew of people out. So we're sneaking around, and... Well, they're actually pouring the driveway for our new neighbors. And uh, my brother and I s sneak behind these cottonwoods. Where, uh, there's actually like a, a landscape berm. We're laying behind the landscape berm and these two cottonwoods. And my brother says to me, I bet you can't throw a grenade at him. Sounds fair enough. Little did I know, the concrete was wet. So I go ahead, rear back, and chuck a grenade slash dirt clod onto the freshly poured driveway and I hit it dead center and we ran uh, we ran I ran into the house we had bunk beds I hid under the bunk bed within no more than 30 seconds I hear a knock at the door my brother and I are just scared to death and my mom answers and uh, they had to pay for a new driveway because I thought it would be great to throw a grenade and um, like I said, uh, I'll do just about anything my brother told me, and back in that day, <laughs> I did. <laughs> and uh, one little last story on dirt clods. My brother told me that they were full of minerals and vitamins, and uh, I think I was six or seven. I believed him. So I ate one, and <laughs> I wasn't the smartest guy, but we had fun. Anyway, so... Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about are spiders. We lived in uh, south central, southeast Kansas, and we had a lot of tarantulas um, in our yard. And we had them, we lived on about an acre lot. And so we had these tarantulas that would uh, basically, they they're, they burrow into the ground, and um, that's their home. So what my dad used to do uh, to kill them 
which was it was so cool to watch. Um, he'd go find their hole, and um, he'd take it was the cheapest way to do it: take gas and pour it down the hole, and light it on fire, which is really cool to watch. So we used to do that all the time. You'd go down there. We would tell my dad we found a hole, um, and we'd pour gas in it. Watch him pour gas, and then light it on fire. And half the time, the tarantula would come flying out of there once before the gas was even lit, and then. You just step on it or, or, or whatever. But So my brother and I uh, are hanging out with our neighbors, and, um, you know, we, we'd seen our dad light gas on fire, and we knew it was cool. Um, so it started out kind of small uh, in my neighbor's garage. We um, His dad was traveled a lot, and his mom worked, so uh, they were home quite a bit by themselves, which is never a good idea when you have a... Uh, bunch of preteens hanging out uh, with gas so we started out putting little puddles of gas on the concrete floor and lighting them on fire which makes a really cool visual um, so <laughs> we decide well if we can do it on a little puddle and it's cool imagine how cool it would be if we coated the whole floor of the garage with gas and lit it on fire so we did <laughs> And I can't, to this day, I can't believe we didn't burn that house down. And it was, it's a horrible idea. And I'm, I can't believe I'm telling you that we did this, but it, I, I wouldn't say the whole floor. I bet it was like five by five uh, area on the floor we covered with gas, but please don't do that. These are, <laughs> I'm telling you guys these things. I can't believe I've, I've lived to tell you a couple of these, but uh, please don't do that. Uh, but, you know, anyway, <laughs> it, it flames reached up to the top of the ceiling and uh we ran out of there and it was weird it was almost like all the oxygen i think all the oxygen did get sucked out of the room uh, out of the garage and uh that was the last time we did that so anyway just a couple stories about growing up uh, there in uh, next to boys island but anyway thanks for watching guys uh the game's coming down to an end we get them triple capped and uh pretty quick game of domination like i said uh but anyway thanks for watching uh, if you haven't, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment uh, if you guys have any stories about you growing up. Uh, anyway, take care. This is Stonepost34.